Oh boy. Such a lovely, lovely time. So, yesterday, uh, well, I recorded a video, passed me at the site, started losing my mind. So, uh, very interesting how that transpired. Uh, see, I got there, what, 5.30? Just a little minor recap. I didn't dump till, oh, I want to say 7.30ish, something like that. So, I watched some guy on the sweeper. You know, they got like these big, like, machine sweepers, industrial sweepers, trying to sweep the floor. And he's just going around, around, around in circles, like American round. He was doing that about 30, 45 minutes. Now, it takes me probably two minutes to dump. By the time you back in there, open the door, raise the bucket, two minutes. I was watching this guy for 30, 45 minutes. There's no reason why they couldn't let me dump. Oh, so I ain't even wrote up the times for that yet. I gotta deal with that when we get back today. So, um, I'm tired. I didn't get home till two in the morning. So I didn't get to bed till almost noon. And so I called the office and what do you got for me? I know it's a little late, whatever. So they said, uh, they sent me to West Virginia and, uh, roll off work, whatever, place I've never been. But I gotta leave at like three in the morning. I just woke up at noon. So, yes, I don't know, I was up for a little while. And and went to bed about 6, woke up uh, about 11.30, past the pipe, kissed her, waved, did my business or whatever. Well, I wasn't really in a hurry to get down here, so kind of fart around, went to the truck stop. And uh, so there I am. Let my truck warm up. It's 3 degrees. And the nice thing is the uh, mechanic shop hooked my rail up and put the box on my truck so I don't have to deal with that so now I gotta meet this this dude uh, along the way I guess I don't know never looking forward to it I hear no one likes him I don't know I don't know him personally never worked with him <sighs> no idea fortunately these truck drivers they like to the bad mouth everyone I don't know find out what he's about today I guess as far as I know I want to do one one run today so not motivated at all especially when it's three degrees outside I got <laughs> an undershirt this shirt an FR shirt actually so this is a little bit thicker plus my coat almost double socked yeah gonna be a little cold today so <clears throat> definitely not looking for it today so this might be a multiple part video i don't know yet we'll find out if i join I only got about four minutes just discussing the start of my day but yeah i don't know disappointing well let's see what happens peace so, I'm going to, so this is another day, but I'm going to add this to the previous movie and join it together. So, uh, to continue on, I think, uh, let's see, I woke up at 11.30, got to work at what, 2, I left, uh, I left the yard about 3. Now, my dispatcher said that we leave here to do this at 3 in the morning. And I, so when I talk to this guy, I'm going to call him the annoying man. He, uh, <clears throat> he said he gets there. I thought he said 15 to 3. I don't know. But anyways, uh, uh, you know, I've been doing this since 2005. I don't need to have my handheld getting places. So... 
I went through past the pile, blew, blew it down at three in the morning. And I was like, I didn't see him there. So I was like, well, he's on his way, whatever. So I'm in West Virginia. It's four in the morning. I get a phone call. Apparently he's in Ohio. I don't know if he's waiting on me or what. Whatever. It takes uh, roughly, what, three hours to get there. Well, he proceeds to tell me at four in the morning that um, they don't open until seven in the morning. So I'm like, all right, whatever. So I told him, I said, well, I'm gonna park somewhere and chill for about an hour, hour and a half. So I was that damn early. <clears throat> so as I'm driving, and it, you know, mind you, I woke up 11:30, and the night before I didn't get home till two in the morning. I'm a little, a little irritated and a little cranky. Lack of sleep, maybe. I don't know. Getting kind of sleep schedule all messed up. But uh, you know, I'm functional. You know, I'm drivable. You know, but. One thing I cannot handle is him. And he's the fir first time I ever talked to this dude, really. And uh, he proceeds to tell me a story, and I, I won't repeat the story, but have you ever remember back in high school and the, you know, they would use like a lot in the story, you know? Like, I was just feeling really, like, bad and, like, I, I don't know. Just, like, I really hated it so much. Like, I just couldn't stand it. Okay? That's an example. <clears throat> However, never in my entire life, how do I even say this? Imagine those two letters, or four letters, like... Imagine like been changed to do you know what I mean? Imagine that in the conversation. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? And after some point in the conversation when I heard do you know what I mean? I was taken out of the entire conversation because Every time I heard, do you know what I mean? It literally hurt. Like it, I was trying to figure out how to get out of the phone call. I almost turned the airplane mode on on this dude at four in the fucking morning. Yeah. So that was the last time I talked to him on the phone. He called me five times that day, yesterday. And I ignored every one. And then he started texting me. And I ignored those two. A lot of questions kind of pop up. Does he, when he sends a text message, does he say, do you know what I mean in the text messages? I, I don't know. It, it's, it's mind blowing. And I don't think I ever want to talk to him again. Yeah. Peace.